What Transformer voices have you done, and which ones are your favorite? Oh, wow. uh, well, I think we've all done one. Yes. Yeah. I've only oh, been. Uh, easy question. <laughs> I've only been Black Ragni. I'm a newbie. <laughs> uh, I was Alita One. I also did. Uh, I don't even remember the name of it. Where's Phil? The little spinning head thing. There. With the different faces. Thank you. I was one of them too. <laughs> See, that's cool. I just I did Air Razor. Oh yes. Well, okay. <laughs> for more for Cybertron, back, let us back, clarify. Back in the day, before they had the faintest idea what to do with women robots, um, unless they had a boyfriend, I was Firestar and Moonracer in the original shows. Oh my God. This is back, what, yes, and I'm still alive, yes. Um, and this is back when, th when they were casting the shows, the voices were going to be androgynous. <laughs> you all noticed how androgynous the voices were. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You know what that means, right? No, Siri, what is androgynous? Androgynous <laughs> means that there's not supposed to be a gender attached. Uh, and so here I am. I'm coming off the Baroness and G.I. Joe, and I'm waiting for my audition. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm, <laughs> you know, so anyway, finally I got to do Firestar and Moonracer. And I think it's absolutely fabulous that this whole new generation actually recognizes there are female transformers. Yay. So do people have questions? Step up. <laughs> well, this, it's been lovely, guys. Um, we'll see you at the bar later. <laughs> Who's buying drinks? Oh, there's someone way in the back. I see you. Oh, this, this is my volunteer. They are amazing. <laughs> my volunteers are always amazing. This is why I love them so much. Well, thank you. Ask your question. Thank you. All right, if you could be recast as any character, doesn't matter as we were talking about androgynous. <laughs> uh, if it could be anyone, who would it be and maybe what would they sound like? In any franchise and in anything? Any Transformers. Franchise. Oh, any Transformer. Any Transformer. Okay. Gender Jeez. doesn't matter. I wrong. would be Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I want to go. I so. want to be Optima Prime. <laughs> <laughs> We're the real Optimus Prime. Please stand up. Well, then we just do one as Galvatron. No, I would, uh, Shockwave would be kind of sweet to do, because, you know, he's really funny. He's got all the quirky quips. All right. Yeah. I could be the one from Queens, you know? It's like my brother, he's, uh, he's gorgeous. His name yeah, is Sean. Have, all we the did girls. have a, a large New York uh, no, representation yeah. within her. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. I don't know, my no, I like that the ship got lost in Brooklyn or the Bronx. And no, there it the is. ship yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. It was like no, a mirror like and that. it was gone. Yeah. I, I, well, just from, I, from the the new Transformers for War for Cybertron, I really liked Starscream and I loved his character arc, so I would really like to take that on, but I've never practiced it, so let's see, what would I say? <laughs> hey, I'm Starscream! I know. <laughs> you just gotta get the really annoying <laughs> voice up here. I'd have to work on you that. You gotta sound like you smoked a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I'm Starscream! <laughs> I met a stripper like that in Vegas, and she was gorgeous. I, my name is Star, and then you, you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got that. <laughs> I'm here all week. Try the veal. Oh, man.